Round three. Hi, Jasper. So what are you going to talk uh, about for this uh, third uh, story? Okay, we have a fight on our hands. Uh, we're doing Volme and Pomar together. Mm -hmm. And we have four excellent cubes of Volme and five of Pomar. But so, we couldn't choose them all. Ah, uh, so what did you select? Okay, so uh, Volme breaks down as two premier crews and then two from the Sentinel vineyard. So we chose one of the premier crews, which is the Cuvée Mito, which I think is the more Volnay style of the two. Mm -hmm. And then we went to uh, Sontano, it's a big vineyard, we're lucky enough to have two Cuvées, mm -hmm. uh, Gauvin and uh, Jean de Massol. Uh, I don't know what you think, uh, Ludwig, my favourite is often Jean de Massol. And it's <laughs> true, it has a wonderful length. Yeah. But I did like the bouquet of the Gova. It's also my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to say that I really appreciate as well the General Muto, mm -hmm. particularly this year because usually it's a bit more uh, tight in tenants, but this time it's really elegant and round. So I agree with you when you talk about uh, elegance of Volney, really emblematic of what a Volney can be uh, here. We've all had a love affair with Volney in recent uh, years mm -hmm. and merited. But I think Pomar has come to the party now. Yeah. Uh, the wines of Pomar were sometimes too tannic. Uh, maybe these hotter, dry years are doing really well in Pomar. So I rather like the Biardet Cuvée. You rather like Suzanne. Uh, <laughs> so Chaudron. we didn't select it. We didn't any select other. that, exactly. <laughs> Just to agree. <laughs> exactly. Instead, we went for Suzanne's husband, Raymond Siro, mm -hmm. which is really very complete wine, I yeah, found. Yeah. Do you think it's uh, Pomar style? Yes, very much so, yeah. because it's got a, a density of fruit and a structure. But nowadays, it's also much more in harmony than might have been true 15 mm. years ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that cuvee does have quite a lot of premier crew in it. Yes, you're it? right. Yeah. And what about the other two ones? Ah, well, we couldn't not have either of the premier crews mm. here. Uh, I'll just change the order. So we have Dame de la Charité, <laughs> uh, yes. uh, which uh, is absolutely sublime this year. Uh, it is so perfectly balanced. Uh, such a, a length of fruit to it that uh, I think it's a winner. Mm. It comes very early in the auction too. Yeah, just to be done uh, early if you if you yes. select this one. And the price has been very fair in recent years. It's not much of a step up from the village. Do you mean it's it's more affordable than the Epino? The Epino does get a, a premium because the Epino oh, okay. is the special vineyard, uh, the way the grave was for the mm. bones. Mm. So. Uh, the, uh, I, I do adore this Dom Goblet, uh, but you will have to pay uh, maybe 50% more than oh. de la Charité. So. Okay, so for the, um, I would say, pleasure and price ratio, maybe uh, this one could be the most appropriate. I think so, yes. Okay, well, thank you, Jasper. Thank you, Ludovine.